This is a prime example of loading issues in my mind. Let's look at this video. And what we're gonna see happen in this video is we're gonna see that the operator here removes a pallet and then decides to put it back in for whatever reason and just slightly bumps the racking system when he puts it back in. Okay, notice what he does here. And you'll notice that already something is starting to fall from the top. That's probably a good indicator that this racking has been overloaded. Now notice that the rack falls from the top first and is not being kicked into the middle, just falls straight down. That's an indicator that of overloading mostly. And then you'll see when we get to this other side here, you'll be able to see that there are boxes and boxes that are stacked on this top frame here that indicate that there is more product that is being overloaded on the top. That's a, a key sign of overloading your racking system. And so this overloaded racking system that was probably pushed beyond the engineering limits led to catastrophic failure. So you think you can, you can push your system. You can say like it's been, it's been holding up for years. We've done this forever until the stresses are just too much on your system. All it takes is a small tap from one operator, and that which is the triggering event, and all that priming weight comes tumbling down in your system.